good morning to all of you in previous sessions we have seen how to obtain our systems realization by using direct form 1 realization direct form 2 realization cascade parallel realization and the transpose form realization in today's session we will be discussing how to use ladder structures realization for realizing ir systems here we will also look how to obtain the coefficients of ladder structure using routh array so ladder structures are used to realize ir systems okay that is infinite impulse response systems so using a ladder structure we can realize ir systems so the discrete time systems or digital system or maybe filter realized using ladder structures have desirable coefficients sensitivity properties so what does it means if there is small change in the discrete time system parameters it it will have little effects on its performance so if if there are changes in the filter parameters right so it will not affect the performance of overall system that much right so the ir systems or discrete time system realized by using ladder structure as desirable coefficient sensitivity properties right so just for example <coughs> consider a discrete time system represented by the transfer function so here is the transfer function h of z which has numerator polynomial and denominator polynomial so h of z is equals to small a in suffix n z to the power minus n plus a n minus 1 z to the power minus n plus 1 <coughs> and so on plus a1 z inverse plus a0 into z to the power 0 means it is nothing but 1 okay divided by so in ir systems you have numerator and denominator so generally the coefficient values <clears throat> or the values of z present in the numerator corresponds to zeros while values of z for denominator corresponds to poles okay of ir system so similarly it has some denominator polynomial so bn z to the power minus n plus bn minus 1 z to the power minus n plus 1 plus and so on plus b1 z inverse plus b0 <coughs> so this uh, you will be provided with the system function if system function is not given or transform function is not given in the problem then from the given input output equation or from the given difference equation by taking its z transform you can obtain h of z as y of z upon x of z right and then from this system function by utilizing these coefficients of numerator polynomial and denominator polynomial here you can observe that both are nth order polynomials so you can utilize these coefficient that is an an minus 1 up to a0 similarly bn uh, bn bn minus 1 up to b0 for identifying the ladder structure coefficients right <clears throat> so this h of z will be modified as h of z is equals to alpha 0 right plus 1 upon beta 1 z inverse plus 1 upon alpha 1 plus 1 upon beta 2 z inverse plus and so on plus 1 upon alpha n <coughs> so you will be identifying these coefficients 
right alpha 0 beta 1 alpha 1 beta 2 and so on up to alpha n depending on the order of these polynomials right so uh, you will identify these uh, coefficients required for realizing the IR systems in ladder structure then after identification of this coefficient you can directly obtain its realization diagram okay or the realization in the ladder structure form right so for identifying these coefficient that is alpha 0 beta 1 alpha 1 uh, beta 2 and so on up to alpha n you will be utilizing one array which is called as Routh array okay so how to obtain this Routh array from the given transfer function that we will see uh, when we will solve a problem on ladder structure realization right so you can obtain this route array and after obtaining this route array from the given transfer function utilizing that route array you can identify these coefficients that is alpha 0 beta 1 alpha 1 beta 2 up to alpha n for realizing the IR, given ir system in ladder structure okay so let's see an example so here you can see that you have to realize the system using ladder structure right and transfer function is given here h of z is equals to 2 plus 8 z to the power minus 1 plus 6 z to the power minus 2 you can rewrite it as h of z the q1 transfer function is what do you have h of z is equals to 6 z to the power minus 2 plus 8 z inverse plus 2 whole upon 12 z to the power minus 2 plus 8 z inverse plus 1 okay as i have written initially this equation of transfer function starting with the nth coefficient capital nth coefficient right so here also as it is the second order polynomial so this this is nothing but the value of a2 small a2 this is small b2 this is a1 b1 then this is a0 and b0 as per this equation right correct so this is the given transfer function okay so by using this transfer function you have to identify a ladder structure realization okay so it is an ir system numerator and denominator are present here correct so it is a pole zero system right so <clears throat> if uh, in the problem the transfer function is not mentioned then obviously input output relationship that is y of n x of n the equation in terms of y of n x of n will be there or you can also call it as difference equation so by taking the z transform of that difference equation you can obtain h of z right so for the given system we obtain here route array okay we obtain the route array so how it will be obtained right so you have to use these coefficients of numerator and denominator polynomial to obtain the route array right so you can specify in this array in the column as z to the power minus 2 again z to the power minus 2 right then z inverse why z to the power minus 2 because <clears throat> the value of n the highest value of capital n here in both cases is 2 okay so we have started it from z to the power minus 2 if it is third order polynomial so it will be z to the power minus 3 so for two polynomials one in numerator another in denominator you have written z to the power minus 2 z to the power minus 2 here similarly then you are you will be incrementing these powers so next will be z inverse right and the last one will be z raised to power 0 z raised to power 0 means it will be 1 okay so in front in front of this z to the power minus 2 
right in first z to the power minus 2 i will specify the coefficients of numerator polynomial okay so what are the coefficient so first is 6 second is 8 third is 2 right so i have specified it in front of the z to the power minus 2 that is 6 8 2 similarly here i will specify the coefficients of denominator right so here it is 12 8 and 1 right next the remaining values you have to identify here okay you have to specify what will the value here right what will the value here similarly the subsequent values so how to identify these values so i'll perform certain calculation so this is nothing but your a n okay as per this equation this is a n right so this is nothing but your a n this is a n minus 1 this is a n minus 2 right or simply you can call it as a 0 right a 1 and this is a 2 right this is nothing but b2 b1 and b0 okay these coefficients so if i am saying it as what this is nothing but your a2 uh, you, you don't have to specify these values here or these labels here just for your understanding purpose i am just assigning labels here so this is nothing but a2 coefficient this is a1 right and this is a0 right and this one is b2 the value of b2 is 12 b1 is 8 and b0 is 1 right so no need to specify these circle uh, values okay only simply you have to specify this numerical value so what we, we have to do to compute the coefficient or the value which is coming at this place you will be multiplying b2 with a1 okay so b2 will be multiplied with a1 right so this b2 will be multiplied with a1 right so b2 multiplied by a1 minus this b1 multiplied by a2 b1 multiplied by a2 whole upon this value that is nothing but b2 right to obtain this value so 12 multiplied by 8 so it is 96 6 multiplied by 8 48 96 minus 48 will be 48 divided by 12 so 48 divided by 12 will be 4 okay so the here value will be 4 right 12 multiplied by 8 minus 6 multiplied by 8 divided by 12 right so this is how you have computed this value here that is nothing but 4 okay so for that purpose we have utilized this value this 12 is multiplied by 8 right minus 6 is multiplied by 8 right and whole divided by 12 so after computation you will get value 4 there next to obtain the next coefficient again you will perform the similar step there okay but now to get this value what you will do you will multiply 12 that is b2 multiplied by a0 b0 multiplied by a2 okay so what is that b2 multiplied by a0 right minus b0 multiplied by a2 and whole divided by again b2 will be there right so the value of b2 is 12 multiplied by 2 that is 24 right minus b0 multiplied b0 multiplied by a2 is there so 6 will be there and divided by 12 so it will be 18 by 12 that means 18 by 12 means it will be 3 by 2 right so this next coefficient is 3 by 2 okay similarly you will compute the next coefficient right so for computation of that coefficient here again what i will do for this coefficient again i will multiply now this value okay i will utilize next row now because i have this two coefficient okay so i will multiply this value that is 4 multiplied by 8 
so here I'll specify here for your understanding no need to specify these calculations only I am specifying for your understanding purpose okay you can directly specify or uh, you can write down the values here directly okay without writing these intermediate calculations right so this is nothing but uh, here you have to multiply 8 multiplied by 4 so it will be 32 right minus 12 multiplied by 3 by 2 so it will be 18 right because 6 2 dot 12 6 multiplied by 3 will be 18 and divided by 4 will be there right so here you will have 14 by 4 right so it will be 7 by 2 so here value will be 7 by 2 in this one correct similarly next to obtain the next value in this route array uh, you can have this here I'll be writing the value now right so here you can multiply this 4 with 1 right and then 12 that is 4 multiplied by 1 minus 12 multiplied by as no value is there that means you will be taking 0 here right so 4 multiplied by 1 minus 12 multiplied by 0 so it will be 4 minus 0 so it will be 4 divided by 4 right 4 multiplied by 1 right so I'll again write here so it is 4 multiplied by 1 will be 4 12 multiplied by 0 will be 0 and divided by this value that is nothing but 4 so this value will be 1 so here you will specify 1 right similarly in next row you will be identifying the value right so for next row here is it visible okay okay here to get this value at this place again 7 by 2 multiplied by 3 by 2 okay so it will be 21 by 4 minus 4 will be there right divided by 7 by 2 right so 7 by 2 multiplied by 3 by 2 so it will be I'll write here 21 by 4 right minus 4 multiplied by 1 will be 4 divided by 7 by 2 right so if you perform these calculations so you will get value here 5 by 14 so here you will get 5 by 14 value right similarly in next position okay now I have to compute value here right so again I will multiply here this 7 by 2 multiplied by this 7 by 2 I will multiply it with 0 as no value is there 4 multiplied by 0 so it will be simply 0 in this place right next here it will be 5 by 14 multiplied by 1 because the last value that is remaining that I have to compute here right <coughs> so here I have to write down the value that is 5 by 14 multiplied by 1 minus 7 by 2 multiplied by 0 so it will be 5 by 14 simply and divided by 5 by 14 so value will be 1 okay so 5 by 14 multiplied by 1 minus 7 by 2 multiplied by 0 so it will be 5 by 14 divided by 5 by 14 so it will be one value okay so this is nothing but the required route array okay so i will just specify that array on next slide once again or whatever values that we have obtained here right so in the route array where it returns z to the power minus 2 z to the power minus 2 z inverse z inverse then 1 and 1 okay so 6 8 2 right next 12 8 1 
फोर एंड थ्री बाय टू फोर एंड थ्री बाय टू इज देर देन सेवन बाय टू एंड वन इज देर राइट सेवन बाय टू एंड वन एक्स टू फाइव बाय फोर्टीन एंड जीरो so next one is 5 by 14 and okay the cursor is 5 by 5 by 14 and zero is there and last value is 1 okay here you can find that that 5 by 14 multiplied by 0 then 7 by 2 multiplied by 0 has no value is there here also you will get zero value okay so no need to write it down okay so this is nothing but the required uh route array okay so the required route array okay so this is the required route array so by using this route array now you can identify the coefficients okay which coefficients so you have to identify this coefficient that is alpha 0 Right, alpha zero, beta one, alpha one, beta two, and so on. Right. So as it is a second order polynomial in this case. Okay. So the last value of this alpha coefficient will be alpha two that you will be identifying. Right. So if I am trying to write down the uh, required ladder structure equation for this given transfer function. So the h of z will have the form h of z is equals to as per this equation it is alpha zero, right? Plus one upon whole upon beta one z inverse is there, right? Beta one z inverse, correct? So beta one z inverse is there. Plus again one upon alpha one, right? Plus Again here one upon beta two z inverse right beta two z inverse and finally one upon alpha two will be there right the last value correct because it is it given equation is the second order polynomial. so we need to identify the values of alpha 0 beta 1 alpha 1 beta 2 and alpha 2 so how to identify the these parameters or the coefficients right so the ladder structure parameters you can specify here the ladder structure Parameters or coefficients are so first we'll obtain alpha zero, right? So how this alpha zero will be obtained? So for obtaining this alpha zero, you will simply for obtaining all these coefficients, you will be utilizing this first column of numeric value. Okay, so for alpha zero. You will be utilizing these two values. So six divided by twelve will be your alpha zero. So six divided by twelve will be alpha zero. That is nothing but one by two. Right. Next coefficient is beta one. Okay. So to obtain that beta one, you have next two values. Okay. For writing beta one, I'll utilize these two values. That is. Twelve divided by four, right? So if I'll write here twelve divided by four, it will be three. Okay, so that is the value of beta one. Next, alpha one, I have to write down, correct? So for alpha one, next two values I will be utilizing that is four divided by seven by two. Okay, so alpha one will be four four. Four divided by seven by two, so it will be eight by seven, right? So the value of this alpha one will be eight by seven, 
okay similarly you can obtain it for beta 2 right so for obtaining the value of beta 2 you will be utilizing the next two values right so that is nothing but 7 by 2 divided by this 5 by 14 okay so 7 by 2 divided by 5 by 14 okay so it will be 49 by 5 will be there right so 49 by 5 will be your beta 2 and the remaining last value of alpha is nothing but the alpha 2 okay so alpha 2 is uh, identified by using the last two values that is 5 by 14 divided by 1 so it will be simply 5 by 14 okay so these are the required parameters for ladder structure realization okay now we'll simply write down the equation okay as well as i will specify all these parameters in the next slide so the required parameters or you can call it as ladder structure parameters are so alpha 0 then beta 1 alpha 1 beta 2 and alpha 2 okay so whatever values that were identified on previous slide that is alpha 0 1 by 2 okay beta 1 is 3 then alpha 1 is 8 by 7 next beta 2 is 49 by 5 and alpha 2 is 5 by 14 okay so these are the required parameters the the equation or transfer function for ladder structure so here you can write down this hlz as in the required form that is alpha 0 your alpha 0 is 1 by 2 plus 1 upon this is nothing but beta 1 z inverse okay so beta 1 is 3 so here it will be 3 z inverse plus again 1 upon alpha 1 is there right so 1 upon alpha 1 is 8 by 7 so i'll write 8 by 7 correct plus again 1 upon beta 2 z inverse is there right beta 2 z inverse so beta 2 value is 49 by 5 so it is 49 by 5 z inverse plus 1 upon alpha 2 is there right so 1 upon 5 by 14 will be there so by using this equation of h of z now we'll try to obtain the diagram okay that is realization in ladder structure form okay so once again i will rewrite this equation on next slide and below that we will try to draw the diagram for it okay so what h of z we have obtained h of z is 1 by 2 plus 1 upon 3z inverse is there right plus 1 upon 8 by 7 plus 1 upon 49 by 5 z inverse plus 1 upon 5 by 14 okay so this is the uh, ladder structure equation okay so the required ladder 
स्ट्रक्चर रियलाइजेशन इज शोन इन फॉलोइंग फिगर ओके सो अगेन इन इनपुट यू कैन स्पेसिफाई एक्स ऑफ एन और एक्स ऑफ जेड राइट so here the first coefficient is 1 by 2 so as it is in numerator so i will use a constant multiplier here right 1 by 2 then this 1 by 2 is added okay so one adder will be required it is added added with 3z inverse okay but it is in denominator as you can see so you have to take it as a feedback right so here Uh, the output will be there obviously that is y of n or capital y of z right but next is 3z inverse is there okay so i'll use one constant multiplier for multiplying with 3 then i'll take an till element that is z inverse right and then again this value will be added okay so it is again added here Okay, so this is added with eight by seven. Okay, as it is in numerator again, eight by seven. So you will need only a constant multiplier at that point, right? So a constant multiplier which multiplies eight by seven there. Again, need an adder there, right? So again here. Eight by seven plus a denominator forty nine by five z inverse is there, so I will again need a feedback there, right? With constant multiplier forty nine by five, right? As we are taking these feedbacks, okay, uh, we are seeing while realization when these quantities are in denominator, so if coefficients are positive, you have to take it as negative sign. So this should be minus three, and this should be minus forty nine by five, and then again. I need one delay element that is z inverse, right? And that z inverse again will be added here. Okay. Right. So similarly, the last one is forty nine. This forty nine by five z inverse we have realized now. It has been added with five by fourteen. So again, you will need a constant multiplier there. That is nothing but which multiplies five by fourteen. Okay, this is the required ladder structure. Okay, so this is how you will be obtaining a ladder structure realization for the Q one system. Okay, so what it indicates required ladder. structure realization okay so here what we have seen whatever equation or transfer function you will be provided with you will be obtaining a raoult array from it and from raoult array you can determine this ladder structure coefficient okay or parameters so these are the parameters required for ladder structure realization that is alpha 0 beta 1 alpha 1 beta 2 and so on up to alpha n so we have seen one problem here we have been provided with the transfer function right if transfer function is not specified if input output relation is there or the difference equation is there then from that difference equation or the Input output equation you can obtain h of z by taking the z transform of the given input output equation or the difference equation. Then by utilizing these coefficients of numerator and denominator polynomial, you can obtain this Routh array, right? And the by utilizing the Routh array's first column, you can obtain these coefficients or parameters. Okay, simply by dividing. These values that is six by twelve, twelve by four, four by seven by two, seven by two by five by fourteen, five by fourteen by one. So this indicates the required parameters. Using these parameters, you can write down its equation, right? Ladder structure, discrete time system equation. Then, using this equation, you can realize the system 
in ladder structure form here you can see its diagram it look like it looks like a ladder okay so therefore this structure is also called as what ladder structure okay so in next session we'll be discussing uh, the realization structures for fir system till this point we have discussed the realization structures for ir system started with direct form one direct form two realization then we have seen cascade parallel realization we have seen transverse form realization and today we have discussed ladder structure realization so whatever realization structure we have studied till now are for ir system that is infinite impulse response system in next session we will be discussing the realization structure that can be utilized for the realization of finite impulse response system that is fir system thank you for joining this session